Our day started uh, at 40 degrees, and then the rains came and cooled the temperature down to the upper 30s. And so far, we've had, uh, in some cases, a half an inch of rain in parts of Trumbull County. We have three quarters of an inch here at 27 First News, and a variety of uh, uh, totals in between that. You can see <laughs> there's no escaping the rain for today, no matter which direction you take. And the rain continues this afternoon. So do the wind gusts at times up to 40 miles per hour. Temperatures in the mid to upper 40s as we hit first news at 5 and 6, and the rain continues to fall. So we could see up to an inch of rain in some cases, and that's caused some flooding concerns, especially for Trumbull and Mahoning counties into tomorrow morning. Now here we are at first news at 11. Temperatures around 40 degrees. The winds have dropped down, but the rain continues and it starts turning to snow as we make our way into the overnight around 2.30 here. There's even a line of freezing rain as the temperatures fall from the mid 30s to the lower 30s. And that band of snow continues into 430, even into first news at 5 and 6. Could be an inch of snow in some cases, possibly two inches. But the problem is, is that we have the rain and then we've got the cold temperatures changing that rain to icy conditions and the snow on top of that. And there's still the snow that didn't get washed away. So tomorrow could be a rough day to travel. As for today, it's uh, at times visibility blocked because of the gusty winds blowing that rain around. And there are slippery spots as well with a high of 45. Rain to snow after midnight, temperatures at 39 at midnight, then it drops to the 20s so that we get the snow tomorrow morning and then cloudy a chance of snow in the afternoon with a high of 30.